in our last high-speed video, you saw cesium, and it was really good the way it reacted quite violently. But then we thought we should have put an indicator in the water to see what happened to the water. Did it go alkali, as one might expect? And how fast does the indicator change? So now we're going to show you rubidium, and in this experiment we put phenolphthalene, an indicator into the water, which has the advantage it's colourless in mildly acidic water and pink if the yeah, water turns out. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Wow. <laughs> it's quite complicated what happened. So I want you to watch with me on my computer and I'll try and explain to you what I can see and then you can look at the videos and see what else you can see as well. So what we've got here, and it's almost life-size because this is the actual um, trough here, but with no water in it. We've got a trough of water and an ampoule with five grams, I think it was five grams, of rubidium here. It had almost melted by the time the experiment started, and the hammer is just coming down here. The hammer, you remember, is our so small metallic collider for breaking glass ampoules, and here it's coming and it hits the ampoule and breaks it. It has broken the ampoule about here, above the metal, so there's a large lump of ampoule falling down with some rubidium inside it. Here I put some metal things in to pretend it's rubidium. And you can see it is hitting the water just about there, and there's some tiny pieces of rubidium coming down here with white smoke trails because it's reacting with the water vapour in the air. But what I think is exciting is that this whole trough starts flexing around and it's really hard to bend and oh, yeah. even Brady who's tougher than me can't bend it very much so and it's jumping about really very strongly and now the reaction continues there is a small piece of rubidium metal that has jumped out when the rubidium lands it hits some water and itself explodes on the ground. Now, I should have explained that in front of this there was a plastic shield, so you will see bits of water hitting the shield, rather like the water hitting the windshield of a car. Now, the interesting thing is if you watch carefully, there's another explosion. So, not just one, but the whole thing starts all over again. And there's another eruption with a flexing of the plastic bowl. So what I think has happened is that when this tube goes into the water, water rushes in and reacts with the rubidium, producing explosively an amount of hydrogen, and that this great r rush of gas blows all the water out of the tube, so the reaction stops. And then the water goes back in again, and you get another reaction, and perhaps that happens two or three times. By luck, because we didn't smash the tube at the bottom, so all the metal got wet at the same time, we've got a repeat performance without having to have an action replay or whatever, so you get several reactions for the price of one. So I'm just winding it back again because there's something else which you might have noticed, but I only noticed on the second or third time. So what you'll see in various points is that there is a strong purple colour, or perhaps lilac might be better, which is actually the emission of light from the vapour of the rubidium. In fact, rubidium is well known to give this rather nice colour. And everything is getting so hot 
that you can see emissions here, here, and so on of this light, which is perhaps slightly masked by the pink colour of the indicator. Indicators like this one are acids which react with an alkali and change their structure and change their colour. In this particular case, with phenolphthalein, the acid is colourless. And when you change structure, it goes red. Neil, get cleaner, mate. And the reason it goes red is that as the structure changes, the energy levels of the electrons within the molecule also change, and so they absorb visible light. And it looks red because, in fact, it's absorbing blue light, so the red light can still get through. And this reaction is very fast because what happens is that H plus and OH minus ions are moving around very rapidly and they move through water at a very high speed and so the reaction takes place very much faster than the speed of our camera. The rubidium hydroxide or is reacting with the acid, the indi colourless indicator, to make rubidium phenolphthalate plus water. So in effect, H plus is leaving the acid and reacting with OH minus to give water. <laughs>